pretty damn excited to pick up my new Mustang. The best thing about it is it's got so much power. Like, check this out, man. Wow. Look at this. Whoa. Whoa. How's it going, guys? My name is Top Secret R35, and welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto Online. So, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Dominator ASP that just got released. So, without a doubt, this is my type of car. There is the 5% of me that wants a flippin' high performance car for the clout, right? But the other 95% is based on cars like this. I want to go fast, I want to turn corners fast, I want a track toy that can also be used to pick up the groceries. And the 2000 Ford SVT Mustang Cobra R delivers on all of those things. So it's flipping expensive at 1.775 million, but apparently this could be the best muscle car. So flip, you know, it's definitely worth it. I'm doing it. So in other news, damn, times are hard. I flipping did a Cayo Perico just to get this car. Even after hitting El Rubio for I don't know how many times, I still didn't really have enough money. I had to sell my nightclub goods now you know times are hard when you're out here selling nightclub goods. Bruh. So the preliminary plan right now is I'm going to modify this thing at the LS car meet when it arrives. And then I'm going to take it to the test track. The best time is 59 seconds and a bit. And that was done with the MK5 Supra. So I'm going to see how quick this new Dominator goes. Hopefully sub one minute is possible. But I don't know. We'll have to find out. So before this thing arrives, like I said, this car came stripped of any stock feature not needed for track use. 5.4 liter V8, 385 horsepower. I'm talking Bilstein suspension, Brembo brakes, a flippin' awesome car built by the SVT team at Ford. So a little trivia fact that you can tell your friends, SVT stands for Special Vehicle Team. So they're the guys behind the flippin' uh, Ford GTs, the crazy uh, F-150 Lightning, the GT500, so on and so forth. Oh my goodness, she has arrived and what a beauty. Again, Rockstar just not giving a damn about, uh, you know, changing even the most basic of things. Because again, this is a one-to-one -one of the real car. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I'll tell you guys that much. Oh, and it's got a lovely exhaust note. Did you hear that? Let's rev it up a little bit. Listen to this. Oh, yeah, this is pretty nice. So in standard form, definitely not the fastest. I'm not too impressed right now. But from reading on GTA Wiki, or what do you call that? GTA fandom, this car does handle very well and it doesn't oversteer or anything like that. So I'm hoping that this thing performs on the test track and they gave this car the recognition that it deserves because it's one of the coolest Mustangs ever. So even when I tried to turn left, right pretty hard, you can see it's reasonably stable. Alright, so let's see what we can do here. Now to be honest, I don't really have a plan plan. I'm just going to see what there is and if there's something that... I fancy I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so we'll start with the boring things again. Armor, brakes, engine tune. Now yeah, just for extra cool little touch, why don't we put on the red lights from the arena war? 53,000. Ah, damn it, no wonder I never have any money. Race transmission, and we'll throw on the turbo. All right, so now it's time for the more interesting things. Now, of course, we have so, so many options here. In all honesty, all of these look kind of lame. So I'll keep it stock. Is it the same situation here at the back? That's what I'm going to envision it to be. But I do like the primary street bumper. It adds like a little carbon lip there at the back. Almost like a diffuser looking thing. Let's do that. So we can paint the engine block here. I'm just going to go with a primary ridged V8 engine. Man, that engine looks freaking sick. Ooh, it makes a noisy in this underground parking lot as well. And there are many options here for the rail covers. But... Uh, I don't know, man. They're all kind of lame. Kind of looks like a waste of money, which typically I don't say that. But seriously, just having that Dominator logo on is awesome. And then there's many options here for the intake. And this looks freaking amazing, man. Oh, goodness. Check that. <laughs> Supercharged, baby. Now, it would be cool if this added to the power. I don't think it does. But yeah, we're going to put on a chrome supercharger. And my usual go-to of a carbon strut brace. Now you can't really see this too much, but yep, we're going to do the intercooler. And then we could wide body it, but ah, that just looks cheap, man. I'm just going to leave it stock as well. These latch hood pins will be very convenient when we go to the racetrack. So yeah, let's do that. And then we'll do the primary vented hood to complement the supercharger to get all that air right in the engine now, don't we? And then there's some cool, cool options here with the interior. Oh man, I like these gauges. We're going to need all of that information when we have this car at the absolute limit, of course. Not into these door cards. Race car, carbon race seats. And then a steering wheel with a whole bunch of buttons on. Why not? 
And like always, if you've got a semi race car, you gotta be safe. So padded full roll cage. Whoop, whoop. And the stock spoiler looks so close to real life that I don't even want to change it. But let's just take a look what else they have here. Ooh, a little bit of a drag spoiler for drag racing. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, without a doubt, at the moment, I'm just liking the stock one the best. It looks flippin' amazing. So initially, I was going to change the wheels, but oh man, these are just too perfect. They pretty much gave us this car in the perfect sense already. I just added some modifications to make it more better for the track. So let's go take this thing out and see if we can break that record. Oh my goodness, man. I can't get over how hardcore this car looks. Look how happy my dude is. Guys flipping dancing in there and all sorts of stuff. So we got the supercharger and we got the turbocharger, yeah? We got <laughs> two forms of forced induction pretty much. Let's just have a quick little test, yeah? Give you guys my initial impression and oh man, this handles great. It handles so flippin' good. I feel that it might be just as fast as the Super MK5. I don't think it's any quicker, but if I really focus, I could break that lap time record here. Man, nice car, nice handling. Thanks, Rockstar. All right, practice is over. It's time to go to the war zone. So like always, the first lap is just practice again to get the flying start. And then our time is 59.98 that we need to beat. So on GTA Fandom, they were talking about the fact that the brakes are not as effective as what you would think they are. And the car does take a bit longer to slow down. Now, I don't know if I agree with that, but maybe it's a placebo effect that I'm thinking about it right now. All right, so I'm not going to... I'm not going to edit this. You guys are going to see my whole lap right now. We're going to see how good I can get this to be. So right now, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I think one of my biggest problems is I sometimes turn in too early. Trying to like, you know, get a head start on the next exit type of thing. And what I sometimes do is I hit the flipping barriers. So watch your turn ins, guys. You've got to turn in at the right time to hit the racing line. So feel free to comment down below, give me advice on my racing here, because this is pretty much as good as it gets, I think so. So right now, how do I feel? I feel like I might not be making under a minute here, I'm not looking really, I'm trying to focus, not look at the time, not think about it too much. Oh my goodness, that was close. <laughs> Woo, I almost had to scrap this whole lap. Ah, damn it. I think that was a 101. Oof. That's bad, man. That's so bad. All right, guys. I'm going to try one more time, but you're not going to see this one, so I'll let you know how it goes at the end. Oh, goodness. About the same, man. That one felt so much quicker. <laughs> that was all in my mind. Well, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the views, all the new subscribers, etc., etc. This is flipping great. It's the first time ever that I really, really nail covering an update like this. I think I'm going to do the same thing when Forza Horizon 5 drops. Just flip and nail it, man. Well, guys, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.